If you've never slept at Walmart, you don't know what you're missing. Now, why would a camper choose to sleep at Walmart over a campground? It's a good question. I don't think campers prefer to sleep at Walmart over a campground unless it's my wife on Black Friday. You got to get those deals. You know what I mean? This was the perfect example of why somebody would camp at Walmart. So we were going from one campground to the next across two states, two full days of driving. And in between that, we couldn't predict where we would end up. I mean, traveling with a toddler, let alone when I get tired and, and call it a night. So because of that, uh, we had to kind of wing it and have a little bit of flexibility. So we drove as far as we could, and right about an hour before Ella's nap time, she let us know that this was the 20 minute warning before the freak out zone. And once we hit that, there's no turning back. So, uh, Daniel, or my co-pilot, looked up the nearest Walmart, happened to be one about 15 minutes away. We pulled in and slept for the night. Now there's a few rules that you've got to follow and some general guidelines when you're gonna do Walmart camping. First, you wanna make sure that you call that Walmart because each one has different rules and some of them don't own the parking lot. They actually share it with a, a bunch of other businesses or it's a shopping mall. So you need to make sure that that location allows overnight RVers. Make sure that you park on the far side of the parking lot. You don't wanna take up spots from people shopping and a lot of times you can park in the back or by the service center which isn't open 24 hours a day next is you want to make sure that you don't make it look like you're setting up camp as tempting as it might be to bring out your fire pit and and relax with some s'mores you want to make it where you're incognito be a shopper you need supplies and they have them and it's the right thing to do to give back to someone who's offering you a service, which is a safe place to save for the night. In fact, a lot of Walmarts will even have 24 hour security to make sure that you're safe. Usually you won't be the only RVers there. In fact, before we started RVing, I didn't know that it was a thing to sleep at Walmart. It's gonna be a little bit noisy, a lot of traffic going by, people with loud music. So if you're a really light sleeper, you'll want to play some white noise or something that's going to help you sleep. Lucky for me, I'm not a light sleeper. I sleep like a baby because I have a baby. <laughs> Toddler. Toddler. And last, make sure you get an early start in the morning. Get out there, get to your final destination, and enjoy the great outdoors. We'll see you on the open road at a Walmart. <laughs>